Hey, what up, everybody? Hey, uh, about to go live. Got a couple of, a couple of things I want to share, uh, to share this morning. Woo. Can't make it to church today because we taping all day. Had to get everything ready. We taping Ricky Smiley for real today. Hope y'all having a blessed day. And, uh, what up, George? Uh, good morning. Good morning to everybody, many. <clears throat> and I want everybody to share this video today. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And you can take this video and you can share it or whatever. Uh, I want to talk talk about bondage this morning, how uh, uh, family members can have you in bondage, including your own kids. I had a conversation with a, somebody that I'm real close to. And I met a total stranger at the Whopper House this morning. I decided I'm just going to shoot down to the Whopper House, sit at the counter, and uh, I end up in a conversation with a uh, a loving father. And uh, his father was just, uh, uh, you know, was talking about, you know, was talking about his son and how he can't get his son to, uh, you know, his son is grown and and taking him through a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> I want to I wanna try to make an attempt. I don't know if this would be a good, I just hope God use me and, and all this stuff come out the right way, just where it won't be mean. And some people consider honesty mean or consider no mean. Anything you do with black people, uh, with black folks with us is mean and or whatever. Say what you want to say about what I'm finna say. I want all parents with kids that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This video is for you. Um, you have raised your kids. You are not a perfect parent. You didn't do everything right, neither did I. I definitely wasn't a perfect parent. And... If you did show up to some football games, if you did go up to the school, if you did cook, if you did wash clothes for them, you are you do not have to allow no grown ass kid to sit there and hold you in bondage just because they're your kid. You have done everything you were supposed to do as a parent, even though you were in, you were not perfect. I want to free you today. I want to rid you of guilt. I want to rid you of the manipulation that, hey, uh, you're my dad and you're supposed to buy me a car or you're supposed to do this or you're supposed to let me continue to live in your house and not take out the garbage and not pay bills and not do yard work, uh, the, the sense of entitlement. And I want to free you today. And I want to let you know that, that, that you are not living your best life if you allow your biological son or daughter that don't want to work, don't want to educate themselves, don't want to be better, don't want to take out the garbage, don't want to wash their own clothes, don't want to clean up their room, very disrespectful, and, and, and want to use your car, don't want to wash it out or clean it out and just have a sense of entitlement. And I want to encourage you today, if you want some peace in your life or it can lead to your death, whether it be a heart attack, whether it be a stroke, or whether them bringing the wrong people in your house that, that come in the house and see that you got a couple of flat screen TVs and come in there and kill you and the rest of the kids that's trying to do what they're supposed to do. See, stop putting all your time and your energy to some damn Negroes that don't want nothing. Put their ass out your house and let life whoop their ass because they're too old for you to put a, put a belt to their ass and whoop them. So let life, let, let everything outside that window whoop that ass because that's the best lesson ever for them. Get them up out your house with the bad energy. They're laying around and, and eating and won't clean up the kitchen and won't do nothing and got little slick stuff to say and they don't pay no bills. To hell with them. And for those of you that got kids that's out here in these streets, that's really in these streets. You need to prepare the rest of your kids. Say, hey, you know what? He ain't going to make it. And I want to prepare you right now that we might be burying him one day. And this is how you don't want to be. This is, these are the things that you don't do. 
You go down there and put their goddamn ass in some insurance and you go down to State Farm or whatever and you put them in $250,000 insurance. So if they go out here and, and F off their life and get killed on some bull crap that you tried to save them from and keep them from, you take that $250,000 and get the rest of your kids grief counseling and you take them on a Disney carnival cruise and show them a good time. And you, if, they, if you want to fuck off your life like that, then we're going to use your death to pay for the rest of these kids' education that want to be something and that's trying to be something. You ain't obligated to nam nigga that you done took care of. Put their ass out your house. You don't have to have no relationship with them. You don't have to be in contact with them. If they, if they not respectful, they got a church they could go to. They grown. They 21, they 22, they 23. They know how to get to church because they know how to get everywhere else they want to go. You took them to church when they was a kid. You did everything you were supposed to do. So today, this day, I want to free you from bondage of your entitled 17 through 25 through 30, whatever you're dealing with. Just because somebody's some kin to you, that don't mean that you got to be bothered with their ass for the rest of your life. You know, work your ass off. You get up and you go to work every day, putting up with people, bull crap and customer service and all this kind of stuff that you have to deal with every day to come home to a nasty house. Dishes in the sink. Flow ain't been mocked. Room nasty. And you nice enough to let them stay there. In the disrespect. And a bad attitude. Bad. Oprah Winfrey said, you are responsible for the energy that you allow around you. See what I'm saying? I'm going to explain something to you. Anybody that have flowers, anybody that have plants in your house, I want you to listen to them real close. When them leaves turn yellow, you take that yellow leaf and you pluck it off. Why do you pluck the yellow leaf off a plant? Because the plant try to put all of the energy into that yellow leaf, trying to turn it back green. But why does it put all the energy into that yellow leaf, trying to turn it back green? The other leaves turn yellow. And then you have to eventually pluck them off too. Pluck that goddamn leaf off and throw it in the garbage can and put all your energy into the kid that go to school every day, the kid that want to go to college, the kid that want to be something, the kid that will go to church, that will clean up the kitchen, that will clean up that room, that's not entitled, that will help you, that will love on you, that will tell you that they love you and tell you that they appreciate you, that will respect you, that will say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you. Thank you, please. Kind. Good morning. Good evening. Those are the ones that you put your energy into. Stop putting your energy into dogs. The Bible said, cast not your pearls into swine. So when they get out here, they ain't raised like that. They live in a nice neighborhood. You know, raise them the best you could. And I don't know why some of them feel like they, they want to be where they want to be and hang around certain kind of people and bring, don't let them bring that danger to your house. You don't know what they did before they came home and then now somebody mad at your kid and come and shoot up the house and then one of your innocent kids that's trying to be educated dead. Fucking around with this nigga. Put that Negro out your house. I sat here and sat, had the same conversation with a man this morning with tears in his eyes at the Waffle House. A concerned dad that's younger than me that just want to know where did I go wrong? You didn't do nothing wrong. You did everything you were supposed to do. And then, son, even if you wasn't a perfect father, you still was there. You still cooked some meals. You still showed up at a football game or a basketball game. You couldn't make it all the games because you have to work. All these kids around here with a sense of entitlement and doing all this kind of stuff that they're doing. Shit, I ain't have no daddy. My daddy got killed. Every Father's Day, I'm, 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 at, I'm up at Woodlawn Cemetery visiting a cold grave. And these Negroes got a mama and a daddy and won't step up to the plate and try to do nothing to better themselves and going to make your life hell? And you in your 40s? I hope you know you can have a stroke and you can die from stress. Not to let nobody stress me out. Don't let nobody stress you out. Put they ass out of your house and do like some of my friends do that we talked on the phone this morning. Uh, she probably on here listening. Uh, some of my classmates from high school put them damn kids up out of your house and travel and see the world. Go to Jamaica. 
go on a cruise. You set up investing money, paying attorney fees to keep them out of jail, paying attorney fees to go to court, sitting up in a courtroom and all this kind of stuff. Go visit the world and live your best life. Go do something positive. Cut them off. Live. Do something for the kids that want to learn. You got some nieces and nephews that you don't even have nothing to do with. Some great nieces and nephews that's trying to make some things happen. Get in some of your time. Invest in their life. You don't have to be around somebody just because they're related to you. That go for your mama. If your mama caused chaos and confusion in your life, cut her ass off. You ain't got to be in her life. You can see her at church and wave her. Hey, how you doing? Or you see her somewhere. Hey, how you doing? Big old hug. Boom, and you gone in and out. Well, I got a lot of family members like that. I be in and out. And I don't like all of them, and all of them don't like me, and I don't care. Because I promise to God, they don't pay not one bill in here. And guess what? The only family members don't like me are only the ones that I didn't help at some point. See, it's when you stop doing stuff for folks, when they don't like your ass and sit around and talk about you. Oh, I see all the little hints and stuff on, on Facebook, and and I uh, uh, I hate family, and and I and this, that, and that, whatever. I know some of that shade coming towards me. Why? Because I don't do nothing for you no more? Because I ain't cashed up you in a long time? Because I ain't paid no bills in a minute? Man, you better live your best life and be encouraged and let these Negroes go to hell because they ain't got no business in your life anyway. See, a balloon, a balloon don't float with a brick attached to it. See, but you cut that damn brick off, that balloon going to fly. I ain't never seen a balloon up in the sky with a brick attached to it, ever, because they don't fly. So if you want to fly, cut that damn brick off and go on and live your best life and, and be encouraged and let these grown-ass, ungrateful, piece-of-shit kids go. Cut them off, pray for them, wish them the best, put them Negroes in some good insurance so if they die, you got enough money to get yourself out of debt and send the rest of the kids to college. Be encouraged. I said it and I mean it. All about, yeah. and, and they ain't going to like you. They ain't going to like you. But guess what? If your kids don't like you, I promise you the sun's still going to come up. And the moon's still going to shine at night. The bill's still going to get paid. Everything that you got. Your life going to move on. Just like if something happened to their ass, you still got to get up and go to work Monday. So be encouraged this morning. Stop letting these grown users and grown disrespectful manipulators manipulate you. Get out of your feelings that you love somebody so much that you would allow them to cause chaos and havoc in your home. See how quiet it is in here? Peace. Because I don't allow it. I don't like. Listen, you can't hear nothing but the sit. Listen. You don't hear nothing but that little noise from that ceiling fan up there. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That's all you hear in my house. That right there. See that? Peace. I don't deal with it. And I probably gonna, I'm probably going to live to see 90. I hope to live to see 90. But handle your business, man. Take this video. I hope this video encourage you. Use it. Play it every day. Cut their ass off. You have more money in the bank. You have more peace in your life or whatever. And I told one of my friends this morning, move out of town. If you got a kid that live in Texas that's doing good in college or whatever, and that's the one that, and you driving back and forth all the way from from uh, 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 Louisiana to Texas to try to be with your kid just where you can get some love and respect. Move to Texas. Why are you still in town around your mama and the rest of your kids that ain't respecting you and they ain't loving you like you deserve to be loved? Go to Texas and get your one-bedroom apartment and be with the child that loves you. That's real talk. And I hope y'all be encouraged this morning. I hope you share this video or whatever and... Uh, it's tough, but it's tough love. But for all the good parents out there, this video is for you. You are free today. Take this video and use it. And I hope it encourages you. I hope it motivates you. And I hope it gets you out of it because you fuck around with some of these Negroes that you done raised in your house. The liars and the thieves and the manipulators. 
you'll be dead. It's a couple in, it's a couple in Dallas, Texas that's dead right now because they ain't have sense enough to put one of them Negroes up out of their house and they came home one night and they felt entitled to a car and felt entitled to some money and killed both of them, shot both of them while they were asleep. See, they dangerous. If they think that they can benefit from your death, they'll kill you. And that's real talk. Get them out of your house and get them out of your life. And see, do like what my granddaddy said do. Some Negroes, you got to feed them with a long handle spoon or cross the room. Hey, how you doing? Good seeing you. Proud of you. Keep up the good work. Keep it moving. Focus on the ones that need your love. All right? And that go for brothers and sisters too. That go for mamas, fathers, anybody that bring chaos and havoc and negativity to your life. Cut they ass off and watch your balloon fly. All right, y'all. Have a blessed Sunday. And I hope this was a, uh, a blessing to your life. And uh, make sure you remember to pluck those yellow leaves off that plant. But all that energy can go into the greens. I'm your boy, Ricky Smiley. Peace.